Yeah, yeah. It's clear this team is still trying to find its best self, but how nice is it as you guys go through this process to, to dig out these types of wins um, and get the results? It's amazing, you know, it's uh, those games are always tough. You know, coming back from the West after like playing, uh, I don't know, six games in 10 days, something like that, you know, coming back from the West, early game, uh, you know, didn't start the game the best way, but we kept, you know, we kept fighting, uh, and we found our groove offensively and defensively. And uh, you know, finding a way to win those games is uh, what great teams are able to do. So it's a, it's a big win. Defense has been up and down this year. What did you guys find in the second half? I guess just obviously schematically getting the ball in Booker's hands, but just intensity-wise. Just, 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 just playing within the flow. Uh, playing within the flow. Uh, we knew they were putting two on the ball, so. I thought Andy did a great job just moving the ball, you know, and making trusting his teammates, and and then we have a lot of guys that can, you know, create for for others. So, um, you know, that's the strength of our team. You know, that we got, we trust each other, and uh, we got a lot of guys that can, you know, contribute night Finch, in, night out. Finch said the next three game, three days, you're going to be working on your defense. What do you want to see in that time? I think first of all let's get let's get fresh you. you know let's let's recharge uh, and then yeah let's let's I think we we got to refocus on the little details you know defensive rebound uh, I thought we you know I thought we when we lock in we play great but when we there's too many too many moments when we just you know lose focus you know and uh, and being on the same page I think you know being all, all five guys being you know uh, Trusting what we do. Is that still familiarity, or is it something else? I think there's some of that. I think some of it, some of it is, even when we are fatigued, being able to uh, do what we need to do, you know, and and that's one thing that comes with time. You know, it, it's easy to do it when you're fresh, but when you're fatigued, like being able to still find ways to uh, do what we want to do defensively, you know, and uh, like once again, that's what I think great teams do. Uh, and uh, that takes work, that takes adversity to, to get there. So we're going to keep working. Rudy, what do you think it just meant for Julius to have that moment? Like, new guy here, still getting acclimated and settled in. You know what that feels like, like, just to have that moment. Rudy don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I had a game winner in 20... You don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I, I had a game winner. <laughs> it wasn't... Don't yeah. even make him think he knows what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, tell him I got a game winner, man. Ooh, I got a game winner in 2017. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. A tip in. <laughs> Step back there, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that feel like. But no, that's I mean that's amazing. That's amazing for him and you know he works really hard. And uh, we trust him. We trust him in those moments and be able to do it. Uh, uh, on a game like this, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I gotta see. My own big man. I love more. You gotta earn it, sir. <laughs> no, I, try. I mean it's it's. Uh, we trust him in this in this situation, so. Um, we know he's capable of making tough shots, clutch shots. You know he's done it his whole career, so uh, just another weapon for us. And uh, yeah, after after a tough night, being able to finish on a play like this, uh, you know, for him and for us, it's amazing. And I saw him like looking at his son, and, and uh, you know, for side after the shot. I think that's those moments are you know moments that you never forget. Uh, he's finding you as well a little bit more. It seems like you yeah. just feel like that. I think tonight, yeah. tonight was the best game yeah. of him finding me. He found me a couple of drop off, a couple of lobs, um, and I think that that connection is key for us. You know, when we we get an advantage, whether it's uh, him driving, him, him setting the screen, popping, getting the ball, uh, and uh, I always try to ask him where he wants me on the floor. So. Uh, so he's able to either make the pass to me or make the kick out to the corner or finish. And um, yeah, it's still a work in progress. But I thought tonight was, uh, especially in the second half, I thought it was it was really good. And you know, the, the good the cool thing is we, I mean, we only play what 12 games together, so we have we have uh, a lot of room to grow. You, know. you guys were down 11, I think, early in the fourth when Ant checked out. What was that group that was on the court able to do to get you guys back in the game? 
Uh, just compete and move the ball. I mean, this is, uh, you know, we, we, like I said, we have eight, nine, ten guys that can really stop, you know, so, uh, you know, regardless of who's on the floor, we really try to play within the flow and, uh, and, um, and yeah, sometimes when the, the other team has the second unit on the floor and we have our second unit of starters on the floor, <laughs> you know, we're able to, uh, to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, we got to keep doing it. For you guys, you lose the two in Portland. It's mm -hmm. kind of the, a lower point of the season. You win these two, but there's these last two, they're still kind of up and down games. Where are you just feeling like you guys are at right now in terms of, yeah, just your trajectory? I think there's... Um, there's a lot of room to grow. Um, I think we, it's hard to, to gauge, you know, when you have so many games, so many travel, you know, because you know that the fatigue, even though you don't want to think about it, uh, you know, being in this league for a long time, I can feel those, when I look at the schedule, I know, like, I'm like, this stretch might be, might be tough, you know, and this is one stretch that is supposed to be really tough, you know, physically, mentally, so, um, I like that we we don't find excuses. We keep competing, and uh, even in the games, obviously we lost the two in Portland. But uh, even in the game, for example, in Sacramento, when we up 20, and then we get flat, and then uh, we we down four in like six minutes. A lot of team would, would fold, you know, in that situation. We didn't fold. We refocused, and uh, we won that game. And tonight is the same. You know, we down 10, I think, in the second half at some point, and uh, we didn't fold. So that's. Uh, for me, that's what that's what matters. Is that our mindset still, you know, uh, always going, always competing, uh, always resilient, and um, and then we get better. We figure it out. You know, we have guys that want to win. We got a lot of talent in this room, and uh, we got to, um, I think, really keep finding our identity, refining our identity defensively. And once we do that, everything else gonna gonna click. How much of the Finding the defensive identity is you and Julius really getting on the same page. I saw you guys talking to each other a lot in the first the first quarter there, kind of figuring out who the low man was, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. where is that at, and where does it need to get? I think I, I don't. I'm not sure. It's just about Julius. I think it's just about us five guys. You know, finding our edge uh, and me setting the tone. You know, I, I'm. I think I haven't been. Um, consistent yet you know I think I, I've been myself the majority of the time but there's too many times when um, uh, I feel like I let the team down a little bit whether it's like one quarter or you know or a few minutes uh, and I can can have that you know if we want to be great as a team and if you want to be a who we a championship team I have to be uh, every minute that I'm on the floor I have to be the best in the world in what I do you know so uh, I'm proud of the way we play tonight, especially second half, and uh, we're gonna keep keep getting better. Do you know why that has been the case, Rudy? And kind of can you put your finger on what's been not quite where you want it to be yet? Uh, I think a lot of it sometimes is, is being indecisive for me, uh, and uh, yeah, sometimes being too thinking too much. You know, being try to calculate too much when sometimes the best, I think the best option is just to to go, you know, to go and and don't try to fix everything. Just go and do what I do, and then uh, trust my trust that my teammate is gonna have my back. You know, and um, yeah, when I when I do that, we in uh, we in good shape. It seems like this offense really rolls at times when there isn't an opposing like rim protector out there. Uh, what would you like to see when the other team does have like you know a guy who really protects the paint? What could you guys do to roll offensively even when that's the case? I think we, we, we want to keep, I think regardless of who it is on the floor, we, we want to still attack the paint. I think we have guys that can finish against uh, anyone, but it's true that uh, we also want to drive to kick out, drive to find the bigs. I mean, Ant has got better every year, you know, making the right play. And, uh, and yeah, it's... it's you know, it creates so much gravity when you attack the rim that, um, regardless of who it is, you know, it's going to be able to to create something good. And uh, and even if he misses the shot, it puts me in a position to rebound. You know, and that's why I keep telling him sometimes the best pass is the shot. You know, as long as you don't um, get blocked too hard, 
<laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so it's uh, yeah, because they're aggressive, regardless of who it is. And uh, I tell and that I'm on this team, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs>